Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can make some really good money very very quickly. Doing this money method you can make around $500,000 in just under 5 minutes. So what we're going to be doing for our first money method is our weekly time trial. The weekly time trial for this week is called Coast to Coast. And we got to beat in a part time of 2 minutes and 29 seconds. The vehicle that I recommend for this, and not only this, but also Heyo's time trial, is the Shih Tzu Hukagu Drag Bike. This is a bike that you can actually purchase from Legendary Motorsports for $976,000. Now once you do the upgrades for this vehicle, it's going to be around $1.2 million. But I'll promise you guys it is definitely worth it. If you do these time trials each week, which every week I always use the Shih Tzu Kagi Drag Bike, because it's a very fast bike and very maneuverable, you will make your money back in no time by doing this. So once you have the bike purchased and upgraded, you are ready to go. So what you want to do for this uh, actual time trial is you want to start it up and then set a waypoint to it. Now for some reason, whenever you set the waypoint, it's going to want you to go straight ahead. We're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be following the waypoint. Instead, what we'll be doing is actually turning around. Uh, and then we're just going to be following this massive circle here until we get to the end. Now, it looks like it's going to be way longer. But I promise you guys, this is a shortcut. As if you try to cut through the middle here, you got to break a lot. There's a lot of turns. And any little rock is actually going to prevent you. Uh, it's just going to knock your character off. It's definitely not worth going this straight away. Instead, just make this big old circle around it. So let's go ahead and respawn. And now let's go ahead and... Now let's go ahead and turn this bike around. Just like this. And then usually by the time we actually get to around here, it's going to automatically set the waypoint. So we should be good after that. Try to get as far back as you can, but still be able to actually start the entire time trial. So let's keep going. There we go. On the top left hand corner it says press E to start this time trial. So from here to start it up and try to go as fast as you can. Your biggest enemy is actually not going to be obstacles. It's actually going to be the vehicles in the game. They're very hard to kind of figure out what exactly they're going to be doing. Because sometimes they turn out of nowhere. Sometimes they break for no reason at all. So you just want to follow this massive straight away. Should be pretty easy from here. Alright, so we're about to beat the time trial. Let me go and slow down because I don't want to get hit and fall off the bike. And there we go. So on our very first attempt, we managed to beat the time trial. And we made $102,000. So this is a very easy time trial as long as you go the way that I said. Which is around this big old corner instead of like cutting through it. Because it's just way easier and quicker. So now what we're going to be doing is Heyo's time trial. This is a time trial that is exclusive to the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S members. Now this is something that is actually going to be pretty easy to do it and requires the same bike as well which is the Shih Tzu Kagu Drag Bike. You gotta make sure to upgrade it with the Heyo's upgrade because if you don't the bike will not be eligible to be used for that race. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that now. So the time trial for this week is actually going to be a Pacific Bluffs. We gotta be in a part time of 3 minutes and 31 seconds. And again, this one's actually a pretty easy one. As you're basically just doing a straightaway until the very end. As long as you don't have to worry about cars. Because for some reason, cars in the game are the worst enemy for any time trial that you do. But if you can actually go around them and, you know, not have to worry about it. This is going to be very easy. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the very end since you guys kind of already get how this works. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so we just beat the time trial and we got around $253,000, which is the most you can make on any time trial that you can do. So, now we're going to be doing something new. There's actually a new time trial uh, series that you can do, which is called the Junkie Energy Time Trial. So I forgot to record this part on OBS, which is why I cut right to it instead of explaining it. But basically what you're having to do for this one is you have to use the Junkie Energy Bike, 
which they actually give you so you don't have to actually purchase anything or you don't need anything to start it. All you're basically doing is going from checkpoint to checkpoint using a bike and as long as you're just constantly sprinting the whole time, it, this should be fairly easy to do. So just go ahead and complete it and for doing this makes you around $102,000. The next thing we're going to be doing is probably going to be by far the hardest time trial to do, which is the RC Bandito time trial. Our next money method is going to be doing the weekly RC Bandito time trials. For this week, we have the Vespuccia Canals, which we have to be in a part time of 1 minute and 53 seconds. Now, there is only one vehicle and one vehicle only that you can use for this, and that is the RC Bandito. This is basically an RC car that you can actually purchase from Southern San Andreas Super Autos for a price of $1.5 million. Basically, when you purchase it, this is literally all you can do with it. You can modify it at the RC Bandito Workshop inside of your Arena Workshop. Which, speaking of that, in order to get this, I think you have to purchase an Arena or something like that. Let me go and make sure yeah, so I think for this one, you do have to purchase a workshop in order to actually even buy the RC Bandito. Let me know if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure you do. So once you have the RC Bandito purchased, you are ready to go. What you want to first do, because it could interfere with it, is you actually want to return your personal vehicle back to storage. So for this one, I'm going to actually have to be going through this way, and so my vehicle is actually going to be blocking it. So it's best just to return it back to storage so I don't have to worry about that. And then the great thing is all you got to do is hover over the RC Bandito time trial and you can start it up from here without needing anything to even start it. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of just going from one place to another, you're going to have to complete a series of checkpoints in order to complete the time trial. There we go, I actually beat on my first attempt, even though I did hit a couple obstacles, I really got lucky at the very end there, but for this one we got around $51,000. Used to get $101,000 for the RC Banditos, but I'm guessing now they're daily or something like that, I'm not exactly sure, but now they reduced it halfway now to $51,000 for completing it. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.